tilak every morning and, and chanting the holy name, and we're not helping other people understand their process. Huh? That means we're still beggars, we're still poverty stricken. I've mentioned so many times, if someone is actually rich, they give in charity. If someone is actually affluent, they share their affluence. Uh, it's, it's a person's duty that if they have more than they need, they give it away to others, they share it with others. That's Vedic society. But uh, if a devotee gets the holy name of the Lord and gets so many spiritual benefits and doesn't share it with others, then they're simply being a miser. And a miser, no matter how much money a miser has, he's still in poverty. Uh, because he's not sharing, he's not giving. You see? So don't be a miser. If you get some gift of devotional service, share it with others. If you get some realization, share it. Huh? If you're on page three of Bhagavad Gita and somebody else is on page two, we'll help them out. Uh, doesn't matter. It, you don't have to wait until you're fully realized to start preaching. You can assist your spiritual master in preaching in so many ways. Uh, so uh, be generous. This is a mark of a great personality. A great personality is always generous and always helps others. See? Uh, a great personality is not miserly. A great personality is generous and kind to others. Uh, not competitive, not argumentative, not fault-finding, not critical. Uh, sometimes gives instructions like, hey, don't do this, do that. Uh, but that's out of concern for others' welfare. It's not out of a desire to criticize them. You see? We see that a person's personality is developing in a certain way that will cause them to deviate. But they can't see that, but we can see it. So it's our duty to trim the bushes, trim the branches a little bit and stop that kind of uh, uh, cancerous growth, uh, growth of weeds, as it's discussed in the devotional literature. Now, when we water the, the creeper of uh, the uh, bhakti lata bija, uh, the seed of devotional service that's given at the time of initiation, when we water that seed, it will sprout. But because the holy name is a desire tree, so many other weeds will sprout because of our non-devotional desires. So we don't want those weeds to grow up. We want to trim them. We want to pull them out. And that is the process of sadhana. See, sadhu means one who cuts. What does he cut? He cuts the weeds. So a real sadhu, a real teacher will do that, but not with a, uh, not out of meanness, huh? not out of anger, but he'll do it out of care, out of concern for his disciples, you see? So real guru has to instruct. Real guru has to help his disciples pull out their weeds. Huh? Real sadhu has to cut, cut the unnecessary things. Uh, out of the garden of the heart. So sometimes we advise our disciples, you know, don't get entangled in these material things. You know, if you're not married, if you don't have a family, don't get involved in family life. You know, if you're, if you're in school and you're trying to learn some material trade, well, that's all right, but don't try to become a big, big businessman or don't try to become, uh, you know, don't, go for some advanced degrees or something like that. Srila Prabhupada always warned against that. Don't become entangled in the material world. Huh? And people don't like to hear that because they're conditioned that, oh, I need advanced education, I need a big degree. Huh? But what's the use of it? You know, your degree is going to be obsolete by the time you get out of school. I'll tell you this. Huh? The whole business world is... is uh, corrupt, and now it's on the verge of destruction. Pretty soon a degree won't mean anything. So don't waste your time. Don't, don't go to some materialistic school and get some nonsense degree. Huh? The world is changing so fast. 
Uh, by the time you get out of school, your degree will be virtually useless. Or the knowledge that you get in school. You know, the, the last year's knowledge, look at the internet. Huh? Last year's programming language, last year's design skills, last year's programming uh, architecture and stuff like that, it's all useless. Huh? Now Google's coming out with Chrome. That's going to change the whole landscape. Huh? Believe it. Pretty soon you're going to walk around with this little thing in your pocket and you're going to have these goggles and uh, you just like move your hand and, and stuff will happen. You'll have people walking down the street, talking to themselves, moving their hands, doing all this stuff. You think cell phones were weird. Anyway, you see what I mean? Things are changing so fast, things are moving so, and advancing so fast, and that's not even to get into all the environmental changes and all the other stuff that's going to happen. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time with materialistic entanglement. Don't waste your time with trying to advance in the material world. Huh? As I was telling one devotee today, I was doing an astrology reading, just take the results of your good karma that's coming to you from previous lives. Huh? You're going to get that money, you're going to get fed, you're going to get a house, you're going to get the, everything you need because of the karma from your previous life. You do not have to try to pile up material work in this life. You're going to get the results of your past karma anyway. Huh? Just like you're going to get the results of this life's activity in your next life. So you might as well do as much devotional service as you can in this life so that in the next life you have a wonderful situation in life. Huh? Why waste your time in material work? It's in the mode of passion. That means in the next life you're going to be born in a, a typical passionate situation somewhere in the material world. Give up the mode of passion. Embrace the mode of goodness. Huh? Perform transcendental devotional service. And then in the next life, you'll be in a wonderful situation in life. You won't have to work. You just do devotional service. What does Krishna do all day? Does he work? No. He plays. He just plays with his devotees in pastimes of love. So if we want real happiness, we should go and be with Krishna. Then we won't have to be saddled with all this material responsibility and work and hardship and suffering and all this nonsense. Suffering is a result of the mode of passion and ignorance. So if we don't engage in the mode of passion and ignorance, we won't suffer. It's as simple as that. That's the law of karma. That's just material. Above and beyond that, we can engage in transcendental devotional service and get uh, spiritual credits. Uh, so don't waste your time. There's so little time left. Uh, things are changing so fast. Any plan you make today is going to be useless tomorrow. Uh, so unless you can understand how things are changing and, and position yourself uh, for the future, then uh, you shouldn't be in the business of making plans at all. Simply follow. Simply follow the more intelligent people who can see what's going to happen and, and which way the future is going and who can make meaningful plans. And uh, you have a better chance of getting through it all. So, uh, that's about all I wanted to say. You know, we have initiations coming up in New Jersey uh, at Janmashtami. We're going to have a big initiation ceremony. So this is the time that, uh, you know, if you're really serious about this devotional service, uh, try to sign up and get yourself to New Jersey. You know, go on the website, on the, uh, the new community site, and uh, see what's going on, see what, how we're getting organized, and uh, come to the festival. This is your chance. If you have been with us for a while, if you have been following these principles for a while, um, then there's a good chance that you could get initiation. Uh, we're going to be in the U.S. one last time, and we're leaving for India. Who knows when we're going to be back? Who knows if we're even going to be back? 
So uh, after this, if you want initiation, you might have to come to India. Anyway, uh, think of it as uh, best opportunity that you're likely to have for some time to actually get this initiation as described in this verse. And um, see what we're doing. Get into a relationship with our group and uh, try to advance in devotional service. That's the best advice I can give you. Do you have any quick questions? Oh, good. Hare Krishna. There is one question from Mother's, Mother Swati. Uh -huh. Babaji, please accept my humble obeisances. 